How's it going guys, Root Junkie here. In today's video, we're going to be rooting the Moto X Pure Edition right here. We're gonna be installing Twerp Recovery. We're gonna be placing the bootloader warning logo on the device when it boots up, when you have an unlocked bootloader. So we're gonna be doing all these things and we're gonna be beating this box to death. That being said, let's go do this. So as you guys can see, or maybe it's a little harder, this has an unlocked bootloader. And actually this screen is something I'm gonna show you guys how to remove on your device as part of this root method. So we're gonna let it boot up, but basically what we're gonna be doing is going ahead and flash in twerp recovery and flashing super su file to this device. But there's a couple things that we have to do on the device first to allow this to happen. One of them is Get that screen you just saw, the unlock bootloader warning. So you have to unlock your bootloader. And if you haven't done that, I'll probably link you a video of it right up here. So just click on that video and you'll be able to follow along and get your bootloader unlocked. And then you'll be able to do these steps that I'm going to show you here today. So besides that, we want to go into our settings, which are right here. And then we're going to want to go to the bottom. Go to about phone and when you unlock your bootloader you're going to do this also but once your bootloader is unlocked you got to do it again because it reverts it so go into build number and tap on it about seven times this will uh, turn on developer options once you've got developer options on go in there then you want to check oem unlock one more time you did it when you unlocked your bootloader and you want to check usb debugging there we go and when you have those two things checked in developer options here we will be able to flash twerp recover over over to the moto x pure edition and get root access so let's shoot over to my computer and do that along with that like i said we're going to remove that bootloader warning logo so let's do this all right guys so for this process to work you're going to need to download a bunch of files this is my site i've got all kinds of files on here for you that should make this a simple and easy process so the first thing you're going to need is if you don't have the android sdk installed um, you're going to need to install your ADB fastboot files. Now, if you've unlocked the bootloader, you should already have these. Okay, If you need them, they're here. You can click on this and download them. All right, so we've got that. Next thing you want to do is get your drivers. Again, you should also already have these. If you don't, here's your Motorola drivers, and I'll link these in the video description as well. You either have 32-bit or 64, or you can just install the uh, Motorola device manager, and that'll get the drivers installed, the correct ones. So. You've got that covered as well. Again, unlock bootloader, you already got this stuff. So besides that, you're gonna to wanna to download like Super Sue. And the latest one that's official is this one. So you download it to your computer and make sure you know where that is at. I'm gonna go ahead and download it right here. You just click on it and then the download will start automatically. Besides that, we're gonna to need to have um, Twerp Recovery. So I'm gonna go over here and this is official twerp recovery for the moto x pure edition 2015 this is awesome our main maintainer here is uh hash bang hash bang i think if that's how i'm saying it right uh 173 and he has put this together this device uh moto x pure edition is codenamed clark and that's something you're going to want to know and you just need to come in here where it says primary recommended and click on it and then click on this file right here and you'll download the Clark Torp Recovery image for this device. Okay, so we've got all that going on. That's great and beautiful. Let's go ahead and go into where I have my Android ADB files, which are right here, here, and here. This is the SDK and I'm in platform tools. You don't have to have all the other files. You just need these four as long as you've got those and they're in a folder. That's the folder we're gonna work out of. Okay, so from here, go ahead and um, hold shift on your computer when you're in this folder, and then right click, open command window here. This puts opens a command window that is dedicated into that folder. So we're going to work out of that folder. It's just the simplest and easiest way to do this. All right, we've got that. Let's plug in our device really quickly. Got to take this case off because you can't plug anything in with it on, at least not my USB cable. That's a pain. So we'll plug in the device. There we go. Make sure you allow USB debugging right here. Very important for our commands to work. And then the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and copy over SuperSue to your device. So I'm going to go into Downloads, 
here's the super su zip I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna find my computer my device here it is I'm gonna go into download folder and I'm gonna paste and that's just gonna make sure you have super su on your device so then I'm gonna go back out of that stuff and uh, you know what I'm actually gonna go in here and I'm gonna grab update oh, torp recovery I'm gonna copy that or I'll cut it out and then I'm gonna put it here paste this puts it into the full working folder with your Android ADB and EXE and all that kind of stuff. Um, all those files are in there fast boot, so now we can flash it. All right, beautiful. All right, one more thing I'm going to get for you guys and show you is I'm going to show you this file, and yeah, I'll give you a link to it. It's uh, over on my site as well. This is the unlock replaced bin. So we're going to go ahead and uh, copy that and paste it over here. And this is a file that will allow you to get rid of that bootloader warning if you want to get rid of it. And we'll flash this. All right, now we're talking. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is in our command window, we're going to type in ADB devices. And it should come back with right here a serial number and your device. And if it does, type in ADB reboot bootloader. And this is going to reboot you into bootloader mode. In bootloader mode, over on the device here, you want to make sure your device says device is unlocked, status code 3. Again, that proves that you have an unlocked bootloader. And to prove that our drivers are working, let's type in fast boot devices. Again, you should have the serial number and fast boot come back. And if it does, your fast boot drivers are now functioning properly. From here, we want to type in fast boot flash recovery. Whoops, recovery, there we go. And then we're just gonna drag, it's the easiest thing to do is just drag this, whoop, I never get this right the first time. Drag that file right into here. So fast boot, flash, space, oh, flash boot, flash, recovery, space, drag the file in, and then hit enter. And there you go, that flash torque recovery to your device. Now, we wanna flash the unlock replacement bin so we don't see the warning. So to do that, we're gonna type in fast boot flash logo, okay? Fast boot flash logo, and then drag the logo bin in. Very good, and hit enter. And that looks like it did okay. And then lastly, to get into recovery, type in fast boot flash boot, I'm sorry, restart, fast boot it's fast boot boot recovery so drag recovery image in yeah just fast boot boot and then drag the recovery image in and hit enter and there you go you are done on the computer you can see that you do not have a warning anymore on your device and let's go ahead and check out the twerp recovery so here you go guys this is twerp recovery sorry my thing's a little crookedy there um, at this point you technically can unplug your cable because you don't need that anymore pull that out of the way. So this is a, an important question. If you flash um, root access with SuperSU zip to your device, it modifies your system and you will not be able to take OTA updates. So just be aware of that, okay? So at this point, you just ask if you wanna keep um, read only your system or if you wanna modify it. Well, we wanna modify it because we're gonna flash recovery. So we're gonna go ahead and swipe there. Then we're gonna go to installs well, actually, you could make a backup first if you want. It's up to you. Um, that way you have a backup that doesn't have root access, but that's your, your call. I'm not going to do it. Go to Install, Downloads, where we put our Super Su Zip. Click on it. Swipe across to Flash. And you are really close to being done here. Reboot System Now. And voila. So there you go. We have done actually three different things here. We've removed the Unlock Bootloader Warning on boot screen which you can see again here I know it's blinding but we have installed twerp recovery permanently on our device and we have rooted it with super su which is really awesome so this shouldn't take too long here to finish booting and it's gonna have this Android is upgrading as you can see right here and then we're gonna show you that super su is in fact installed or super user super su whatever super su there we go super su and if you click on it and you get this and then say no thanks 
boom, you have root access on the Motorola Moto X Pure Edition very simply and easily. You can check it with Root Checker if you want from Google Play Store. I'm not going to. I know that's official. I know I have officially have a root access on this device. So there you go. That's going to wrap it up for me. Hope you've enjoyed this video here on the Moto X. Um, hope it was informative. Hope you got some stuff out of it. Stay tuned for more videos on this device as development happens. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.